Happy New, New Year. Year! We made it! It's 2021! It is 2021. Yes. A brand new year. Goodbye, 2020. Adios, muchachos. <laughs> <laughs> what a year we had, yes. but it's over. That's and right. And what a blessing of a new year ahead. You know, this week we've been talking about endings and beginnings. I think we should take these off. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to see. It's hard to see. And today is Fasting Friday, yes. and we wanted to dedicate this year. How appropriate yeah. that the start of the year is on Fasting Friday. It is so appropriate. And fasting, again, is an opportunity for us to give up something mm -hmm. for a period of time that we're used to doing, even maybe necessary to our lives. And instead, during that time that we would normally do that, mm -hmm. such as eating a meal or even food for a whole day, social media, watching TV, whatever it might be, that in place of that, you intentionally focus on God and focus on the things above. Mm -hmm. And what a beautiful way to start the year. That's right. How awesome that the 1st of January ended up on a Friday where we can refocus our attention to God. Mm -hmm. Now I want to read to you a portion of scripture. This is found in 1 Kings um, chapter 8. And this is talking right during the time when the temple finally was built. Now if you know the historical biblical history here, they spent years and years planning this out. Solomon at the helm. That's right. Building this temple. And now here he's dedicating this temple to the Lord, putting the Ark of the Covenant in it, which was the presence of God mm -hmm. in the Old Testament. And listen to what he says before all the people. Solomon says, Praise be to the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel, just as he promised. Mm -hmm. Not one word has failed of all the good promises he gave through his servant Moses. Mm -hmm. May the Lord our God be with us as we he was with our fathers. May he never leave us nor forsake us. Mm. May he turn our hearts to him mm. to walk in all his ways and to keep the commands, decrees, and regulations he gave our fathers. And may these words of mine, which I have prayed before the Lord, be near to the Lord our God day and night, that he may uphold the cause of his servant and the cause of his people Israel according to each day's needs, so that all the people of the earth may know that the Lord is God and that there is no other. Now listen to this, mm. but your hearts, and he's talking to the people, mm. but your hearts must be fully committed to the Lord our God to live in his decrees and obey his commands as at this time. Wow. And as I was reading through that and thinking about the beginning of a new year, mm -hmm. I thought about what a beautiful way to start to just like this, something has completed, mm -hmm. something has finished a year for us a temple for them, but they paused and took a moment to reflect and to thank the Lord for all he'd done, to cry out to the Lord, continue to do this, continue to bless us, to move, yes. to lead us. And yet then at the end, he dedicated himself and the people to the Lord saying, we will continue to serve you. We will continue to follow your commands. I want to challenge you today yeah. Yeah. to begin your year doing just that. As you fast today, mm -hmm. as you focus on the Lord, dedicate this year to him. Dedicate your life to him. That's right. Say, Lord, this year is yours. Yeah. May this year be the closest you've ever been yeah. to you, God. Praise God. And mm -hmm. fast for that. May God give you that revelation and that boldness to dedicate yourself to him yeah. this next year. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for Soak It Up Saturday. Another daily dose for, for spiritual, spiritual growth. growth.